Today, Houstonians remembering one of the most renowned bootmaking legends in the nation. At 79, Rocky Carroll passed away. Today, he was buried at the Woodlawn Cemetery. The legendary bootmaker fits shoes for the stars, presidents, A-list celebrities, even queens. Only Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon sat down with Carroll's family as they remember a man who touched so many lives. This is where the magic happened here at this small shop on Ella, still proudly displaying the Texas flag. Now, seven days a week, Rocky Carroll would make boots here, and his family and loved ones say his legacy will live on. Here at Earthman Rest Haven Funeral Home, a service fit for a man who fitted the stars, bootmaking legend Rocky Carroll. He got to uh, fly on Air Force One. He's been to the White House numerous times, and uh, I got to go along with him. His only son now going through his father's memories. Every summer, 4 o'clock in the morning, I'd go with him to work and, and work all of these long hours to spend time with him because he, they, he loved what he did. In this little shop, still missing a J, Rocky crafted boots for seven presidents. He was dubbed Bodist. I like to make fancy boots. I don't make plain boots. This is a pair I did for President Bush, George W. for his birthday. But his list would include several others, even the Pope. Tonight, Rocky's grandson was sporting his boots. He'd made me a pair of boots years, years, years ago when I was real little, and um, he just asked if, you know, if I had a pair of boots to wear, and I said, no, we can work out a deal, and so. <laughs> Uh, he, he did make these for me. Everyone that came in that was for charity, he would never say no. Kim and Bill Nash started a charity called Champions Kids Camp to help children cope with trauma. Carol's Boots helped send dozens of kids to camp. We started on nothing with nothing but faith in God. And Rocky stepped up for our golf tournament, for our New Year's Eve celebration, and for our Texas Best Music Fest. He donated a pair of boots for each one. And tonight, the people he gave are thinking of him near and far. Getting uh, emails from Ted Poe, uh, the Barbara Bush, and George Bush, and uh, just everyone. It's, uh, it's been very comforting. Carol was buried this afternoon at Woodlawn Cemetery, surrounded by friends and family. They say he will be greatly missed, especially right here in his hometown. In Northwest Houston, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.